Hey everybody, Eric Faust here at Colrain Family RV in Indianapolis, Indiana. You know, we're coming up real close on the winter break. And this is specifically uh, catered to you people who have kids. You know, who wants to stay around in the snow when there's a bunch of this big, beautiful country to explore? Why not head south? And then later on in the year, plan the rest of your itinerary. I wanted to show you this Jayco 31FS. It's a pretty cool unit, and it might just be the one you're looking for. So without further ado, let's both discover it together, shall we? If you look at it, it's built on a Ford E450 chassis. That means it does have the Ford V10. It's a gas engine, uh, extremely powerful, torquey. And, uh, you know, for what it is, it gets reasonable gas mileage. Yeah, it's not a Prius, but it was never designed to be. Um, it comes with all the amenities, such as, you know, storage along both sides. Um, on the other side, obviously, is a generator, um, which is a 5,500 watt. It will power the air conditioners. It will power the whole unit. You can completely take this off-road and go boondocking, which is what a lot of motorhome people tend to do. So you got, you know, oversized, you know, freshwater, gray water, and black water tanks. And uh, again, you've got the generator to take you off-road, plenty of ground clearance, and a truck chassis to get you up there. Now, normally I would walk in through the entrance as to how everybody else comes in, but I want to I want to do it a little differently this time. Let's come in here and take a look. Because again, look, look at this, a low step-in height. You know, so short drivers, well, such as myself, we can all get in here and, oh, these, these sumptuous, you know, leather-coated bucket seats are just incredible. You know, they, you know they're multi-adjustable, they're power, if you take a look, they're power, virtually anybody from you know, my size or shorter, because I'm 5'6", uh, all the way up to you fortunate big people who <laughs> who don't have to uh, worry about stretching out. Hey, this, this is gonna fit y'all. Very friendly driver entertainment system, uh, cruise control, power steering, or power steering, what, what am I? In back in the 60s, of course power steering, what I meant to say was tilt wheel. Uh, you know, dual remote power mirrors. Uh, you've got a complete driver information center with navigation and rear view camera. Everything's right at your fingertips. In addition to um, in addition to the folding armrests, you know this is all catered around the driver because you know you're going to be spending a lot of time on the road in this vehicle. Now, let's go and look at the fun part. This will be fun for you not only as a driver but for the kids as well. So I'm going to back up. And let's take a look, for instance, you know, this is a Class C. So basically what that means is that you have a bunk right over the uh, driver and passenger cockpit area. And like a lot of models don't have, this one does have, it has its own TV, which the TV can be swiveled out and used as a family TV. As you see, you know, for the trifold sofa sleeper and the dinette that folds down also. So in other words, if you've got a lot of kids, you know, if you've got the Brady Bunch, you're not gonna even worry. It'll sleep two, four, six. Now what, we're not done yet, we're not done yet. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Of course, mom and pop get this bed, right? But, um, so it accommodates everybody in a class C, which is unheard of. So let's just take a look at a little bit more stuff around here. Uh, like, look at the kitchen. Got a backsplash built in, a large microwave. Look at this thing. I mean, you know, that's larger than most camping trailers. You have the... Uh, you have the dual stainless steel under counter sink with solid surface counters. You're not gonna get the weeping in from contaminated dish rags and soil and whatnot. These, you know, these are solid surface 
Again, these are designed to keep all the germs out, easy cleanup. Uh, you can take and uh, if you want, try to you know, scratch them. They're not gonna scratch or mar. Uh, solid wood cabinetry all the way around. Uh, an oversized oven. And again, you have a six cubic foot fridge. You also have, you can take and this door will close and separate the sleeping area from the entertainment area. So some of you might wanna to go to bed early, no problem. You close the door off while the others are playing cards, watching the game, watching a movie, whatever. You know, everything can be segregated or brought together. Now let's uh, come back into this part and you'll notice like, you know, you've got two younger ones who wanna to go to bed, they wanna watch their videos or whatever. Look, look at this, look at this. Not one, but two TVs. So we've got the one up front, we've got these two TVs here. And check this out, a TV back here for mom and dad. Hey, everybody's gonna be entertained. I mean, sure, camping should be going outside and living the adventure, but there are gonna be days when it's gonna be raining or late at night. You want that extra bit of entertainment. Back to mom and dad. Look at all those drawers. You could put a year's supply of clothing in there. Um, beautifully deep and large closets. Uh, you know, whether you're, you're hanging suits, dresses, coats, everything is in there. And again, this is on a slide. So, you know, this opens up to a nice, beautiful bedroom. Again, above the bed, cabinetry that will hold just a bunch of stuff, whether it's extra blankets or shoes or whatever. Um, on either side of the bed, you have a 110 volt outlet. If you've got a CPAP machine, that's important. You can also plug in your smart devices, you know, being phones, tablets, etc., and recharge them there. You've got the little pedestals on either side of the bed, so you can uh, you can set your books, glasses, uh, cell phones, keys. Uh, the same stuff that I do in my camper. Again, more storage right through here. Again, solid wood cabinetry. Everything you can store right in through there. You know, whether it be spices, whether you divide the bathroom up, doesn't matter. And uh, hey, let's take a look at the bathroom. Um, yeah, turn this on here. Now we can see a little better. Oversized medicine cabinet. So everybody can get their toothbrushes, their personables, etc. inside there. Um, again, ch check this out. A stainless steel under the counter sink with, again, metal metal faucet fixtures. Uh, that's not seen very much in any type of motorized vehicle unless it's extremely high priced. Again, look at the shower. This was a tri this is a trifold this is a trifold sliding shower. You do have the metal handheld or stationary shower head that'll go right in there and I you know it's hard to do this with uh, there we go hard to do that with one hand uh, with a skylight it stays uh, completely dry on the outside wet on the inside so you're not gonna have to worry about any splashing or anything and again while you're boondocking you've got a 12 volt pump that's gonna pump that water through you're gonna have plenty of water for everybody to shower and get clean and you know wash their hands use the toilet and even cook with that's not a problem um, again um, more overhead cabinetry solid wood we have a skylight up here which can be darkened out uh, this motorhome has everything and uh, now check this price out this is the one that just blew me away uh-huh yeah, exactly, exactly. So uh, you know, it'd be a, it might behoove you. Well, I would behoove you if you're, if you're in the market for a Class C motorhome or a motorhome period, and uh, you've got a brood to take along with you, and they need their space. This is the perfect unit, and it's not so overwhelmingly big to where you're not going to be able to park it anywhere. Um, most campsites, most uh, you know, most state parks, uh, they're going to accommodate these. It's not so tall that you're going to worry about getting it under bridges. Uh, it's not so large and cumbersome that you're going to worry about going into wind. It, th this drives beautifully. It's going to do its job. 
and everybody's going to travel in comfort. And there are so many details about this that I haven't even begun to touch on. You know, like seat belts for everybody, no matter where they're sitting. How cool is that? So if you're, you know, if, if you're uber safety conscious, everybody has a seat belt. Um, if not so much, well, you know, uh, people can nap in their beds and what, you know, and whatnot during the trip. So again, this is a perfect Christmas break, spring break, or summer break vehicle. Uh, you know, again, you can take the brood along. Say if the kids are grown, well, you can take them and their grandkids along. Or, hey, if there's a football game you want to go to in another city, why not take uh, why not take nine of your best friends and have a great time? This handles it all. So, uh, tell you what, why don't you uh, get a hold of me? And you've got my number, and let's talk about it if this is the right unit for you. Many of you, it will be. Again, I'm Eric Faust of Colerain Family RV, Indianapolis, Indiana. I'd like to talk to you soon. Thanks.